What's going on guys, Alex here and today we're at a windy Sanfire Ho which those of you that don't know is in Dover where the white cliffs are at so we've got a nice backdrop for today so today's video is just, just a short one just showing what's, what's new to the car so let's get straight into it So, as you can see, the I've got the RS style front grille fitted now. This did arrive before we went off on to the rally, but unfortunately we weren't able to put it on in time. I mean, I took it to the body shop, um, I think it was two days before we left for the rally, and they, they were going to try and fit it in, but because it was a, a long job, they had to take off the bumper and all sorts, they said that they couldn't guarantee it would be finished in time. So we left it until we got back from the rally because we don't want to risk not having the car all together for for the rally. So yeah, so I've had that uh, mod planned for a while because well, I just love the look of the RS grille. It just finishes off the front end of the car so nicely. It looks a lot meaner, a lot cleaner. It's all gloss black with a gloss black grille. But my favorite bit is that quattro, a quattro badge at the bottom. I, I just love it. I did think about doing it into just that quattro bit in a different color, but having seen it on the car, I really like it how it is, so I think I'm just gonna leave it because I do want it to stand out because it's just something a little bit different. The only thing I don't have is the S3 badge on the front of the car, but I can live with that. It's not that big of a deal. They did send a RS3 badge that I can stick on the front if I wanted, but it's not an RS3, is it? It's, it's an S3. I don't want to... Yes, it's got the same... Well, it's got more performance than the RS3, but it's still an S3, so I don't want to stick a badge on it that's sort of advertising it as something it's not. So, they'd think about it, but I thought, nah, it's, it's best not. But, so, yeah, so... Today's video is just a really quick one, just showing off that front grille as that's the only new things that have happened to the car but well obviously the, the stick on number plate as well to keep it legal as well it does have a removable front number plate sort of holder where i can put it on and take it off whenever i want but i just love the look of it it's just clean it's nice all black so for i'm not going to bother sticking that on i have the just a stick on number plate on instead because i quite like it as it's uh off to the side it just looks a little bit different and just makes people sort of have to take another look at the car just to sort of see what's going on and that's always good so yeah that, that's all i've done to the car lately i mean I've, as you can still see i've still got the stickers on i will remove them soon but i'm going to replace them with similar graphics so i'm still going to have something down here just got to decide what i'll probably have uh, my company down there at the bottom. I'll probably keep the I Love base there because I, I love their logo. And then uh, have something else along the top and yeah, so got that sorted, but I'll probably do that in, I'm thinking either just normal colors or the same gold chrome as this one, just to sort of keep it looking a little bit different, just shiny in your face so people can notice it. But what's upcoming is next weekend we have got gravity show which is uh done by slammed uk it's their first show that they're doing themselves so that's going to be awesome we're going up on the saturday i'm going with joss with the r34 gtt which you've seen in previous videos and my other mate sam with his st that is having quite a bit of work done to it i'll see if i've got a picture to quickly snip in here as it's still a work in progress. It's very, 
sort of last minute because it was meant to be finished sort of early this week but they haven't managed to do it but it's gonna look awesome when it's done I mean I think I've got one picture where he took a picture of the rear end just so you can see how wide it is now so on the Saturday we'll be heading over to Dross's in the morning helping Sam finish off the boot install as uh, he's got air ride on his car so we're gonna just do something nice there get it looking all nice for the show and then make our way up to the show do a bit of a little convoy trip up there they're going to park their cars inside the VIP warehouse thing whatever it is I can't remember as I didn't get in unfortunately but not too fast so we'll then leave the cars there Saturday overnight Sunday is the day of the show I'm gonna do as much coverage of all the show as I can sort of go see all the cars and I think there's a hundred cars in the VIP warehouse thing so they're all gonna be a hundred top quality good looking cars and yeah so there's that there's going to be obviously trade stands and all that people selling their wares showing off what they've got some new products for cars all that sort of good stuff so we've got that coming up next weekend which i'm really looking forward to it's going to be a pretty fun packed weekend so yeah so sam's car just quickly while i remember we're going to be doing a full video on that at some point as well once it's all finished so keep an eye out for that because I know he's got some some other stuff planned as well for it so definitely need to keep an eye out for that because it's going to be interesting it's going to be one of a kind there won't be another Fiesta ST like it and it's just going to be insane so it's going to be a good weekend next week plenty of uh, videos so make sure you do subscribe if you aren't already and uh, give the video a like and a comment and I will see you with the next one Bye.